Today we're gonna to be taking one of our very own Mustangs and building a Mustang RTR spec too. Now RTR stands for ready to rock and it's a performance package designed by none other than Von Gittin Jr. himself. Now Gittin is a professional drifter and racing driver and he knows a couple things about Mustangs. Now RTR takes that Mustang and takes it to a whole another level. Now we just had one problem and that was we didn't know what color to pick. So we went to social media and we asked you guys and you guys chose red. Now I know my way around the shop and tools, but I won't be building this car by myself. In fact, Jordan Wheeler from RTR is gonna help us out. So let's go. Thank you so much for coming out again. Absolutely. We're super excited to build this RTR spec two with you. Now, real quick, I've never done this before. Can you give me a rundown on how are you gonna do it? Yeah, absolutely. So with the RTR spec two, it's a full appearance change as okay. well as the suspension. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the appearance right off the bat. Okay. Starting at the front with the grill, the chin and working our way back, hitting those side skirts, get around to the quarter splitters and the rear diffuser, knock out the deck lid okay. spoiler. So all the easy stuff first. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> and then suspension, that's all you. Yeah, absolutely, I can knock that out, no problem. I've done it plenty of times. Oh, are you ready to get started? Yeah, whenever you are, man. Let's do it, man. Yeah, if this whole front bumper is gonna come off, what we're gonna do is swap out the upper grill, lower grill, the chin, and the bumper vents all in one while it's off. One thing that's really nice about the Ford bumper on the newer gen S650s is it's a clamp that goes in here, kind of bracing it. Some of the edges before on the previous gen could be weak points, but Ford really upped their game as they're always trying to advance their technology. So we're just getting in here, getting those clamps off so we can pull this whole bumper off to get the upper grill in. See, we got the whole, well, you got the whole front bumper off <laughs> in like 10 minutes. Uh, so talk to me about that process. So it's really easy to get everything off. And one thing that RTR tries to specialize in is making OEM plus parts to go onto your vehicle. So one thing that you're gonna notice is we start taking everything apart. All the RTR parts are gonna go right in the stock locations using stock bolts, using stock clips. So if there is something that we need to add, RTR always has the screws in the box to add that rigidity, okay. but everything here can go on in the stock locations. That way you have nothing to worry about. It is for any tech or any service department as well. Awesome, so right now, we're gonna, what are we gonna do right now? Right now we're gonna start popping off uh, the upper and lower grill. We gotta remove this insert right here. There we go. Yep, so this here will be our upper grill. So we'll be able to start popping this here out. Uh, as well as the lower grill. Dude, look how, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but straight out of the box, put onto the car. I mean, this tight corner right in here in the bumper, like everything lines up perfectly. Just sitting in place, no bolts holding it in yet to snug it up. This right here is freaking amazing. That is awesome. For 40 minutes putting in the RTR grill lights because I have no idea what I was doing, but we got it. Uh, talk to me what you're doing here with these uh, grill vents. These are definitely closed off. What do you got over there? So what we have here is our heat extractor vents for the hood. Okay. A lot of customers will say to us, what's the benefit of having yours over the factory? The factory will get heat out. No mistaking that whatsoever. Okay. But if we look, it's a little bit smoother. So when you're going down the street, you have all the air coming over your hood. What you're having is this heat trying to get out fighting the air coming over the hood. We add okay. this little lip here. So what's happening, the air comes up, diverts up, allowing that hot air an extra second okay. or so to escape, pulling it out with the air moving over the top of the vehicle. Wow, so that small change, this lip right here, it's almost like a little spoiler. Yep, changes the aerodynamics. Now that we got that, well, not we, now that you got the heat extractor vents on and we got the bumper pretty much dialed in, right? Yeah, absolutely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out this one here real yep. quick. We'll slide that bumper on and we can move on to the next thing. All right, man, let's do it. Awesome. One heat extractor vent lighter. All right, Jordan, so we finished the front end of the car. We got the hood vents, got the lights, got the grill, got the splitter, car's looking sharp. Uh, what do you wanna do next? So next we're gonna hop around to the back, knock out the spoiler, rear diffuser, okay. and our quarter splitters. All right, so that's gonna be the next big change. It's on the back end, so let's get to it. All right, Jordan, that looks really sharp. So what's next on the back end? I say we knock out the rear diffuser. Uh, are we gonna do it on our back or can we go? Yeah, let's take it up. Okay, let's do it. Knock out the quarters, the diffuser, and then we'll pop off these rear tires and we'll go ahead and tackle this suspension and a sway bar. 
Okay, cool. So what we're using is the factory holes that we have up here with the factory pins. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop in two new holes okay. for added support. And then the 3M tape holds it on. Nice. Very easy, real quick. Still peeling the tape. Bruh. <laughs> I'm just, or I'm hey, wrong. You're probably doing something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm peeling the tape. You're going to need something to cut this thin out. Like a Dremel or? A Dremel will work fine. It's got a here, here, and then right up top. wing out. Yep. Are we still mic'd up? You can hear us? Yeah. Man, I've been talking a lot. No. <laughs> I think that was a success. Yeah. Everything's cut off now. And now you can put on the rear diffuser. Yeah, absolutely. I like what you did here. You were able to get those cuts in there nice and tight that way. We're going to be able to support it with both the 3M and the bracketry at the back. And I'm glad that you did it because I'm still all nice and clean. <laughs> Listen, I feel like I was well and told. You were like, yeah, have at it. <laughs> okay, it work. There, it is a teamwork. This is okay. I need I need to get some of this stuff off. I mean, I'm covered in it. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but all right, let's get back to it. <laughs> I'm going to clean it off real quick. Yeah. I look beat up. So Jordan, what, uh, what do you want to wrap up with today? Uh, so right now we've got the majority of the exterior done except for the rocker splitters. Yeah. So I think we might be good to wrap up now and then we can knock out suspension and wheels and tires tomorrow. And then once we get it down on the ground, put the rocker splitters on and then you guys can lay the tape. Get that stripe on there. <laughs> By you guys. <laughs> Not talking about me. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start wrapping things up here and cleaning up and getting set up for tomorrow. All right. Sounds good, man. Next day. All right, Jordan, how you doing, man? It's day two. I'm doing good. I wish that I hadn't wore a red shirt today because I, after <laughs> how I sweat yesterday, I don't know if this was a good decision. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be nice and marked up. So yesterday, all right, I'm not going to lie. Don't let the video fool you guys. It didn't take 10 minutes, okay? It took all day to get all this stuff done. So what are we looking at to get done today? So today we're going to start working on the RTR Tactical Performance Suspension. We're going to put in the adjustable sway bars, shocks and dampeners, and our one-inch lowering sprays. Okay, so now we're about to get all that aggressive look, style, and handling all in one time, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. All right, so I'll tell you what. I'll take off the wheels. You can do the rest. Oh, sounds <laughs> fair, right? It sounds fair. All right, let's get started. Cool. So this is the stock sway bar, completely removed, and right now Jordan is grabbing the RTR sway bar. You mentioned yesterday, I think, that you can actually adjust it. Yep. Neutral setting, oversteer, understeer. My car is set up so <laughs> stiff that if you jack up w one corner, three wheels are coming Three up. wheels come up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for this build here, since it is going to the dealership, we'll put it on the neutral setting. Yep. All right, too easy. All right, so we just installed the new RTR sway bar. It does have poly bushings, and we got these new sway bar mounts, and it does have the nipple on the end right here. So you can go ahead and regrease it. And we got these new collar locks that are gonna go on the inside right here. So pretty cool stuff. Anything else? Nope. Springs, shocks, sway bar. Yep. And then the front is done. Yep. We, we <laughs> put wheels tires on, drop it, and we're starting to badge it. Listen, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm tired today. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a lot. It may not seem like a lot on camera, but it, it is actual work. Um, thank God we have a lift though, because that's making it a lot easier. Absolutely. So, well, all right, let's, uh, Let's get our parts going, start taking apart more stuff and get it done. Sounds good, man. <laughs> All right, so we just got these back from Oscar. He went ahead and swapped out our springs and our isolators and put the top hat on. We did go ahead and mark which side went all the way to the outside right there. And I marked the right side and the left side or uh, driver and passenger. Uh, so we know which one was to which. Now we're going to go ahead and throw these in there and then uh, change out the sway bar. So another reason why it's useful to get this done at the dealership outside of the factory matching warranty, you don't have to deal with the dirt, the cuts, the scrapes. You get to pick the car up, head home with it. All right, guys, so we got the bottom belly pan all buttoned up. Sadly, our tires are delayed in shipment and there's nothing we can really do. 
So for now, we're going to go ahead and put the stock wheels and tires back on so we can actually move the car out of here because the technicians actually have to use this lift. Once the wheels and tires come in, we're going to go ahead and throw those on. After we put these wheels and tires back on, we're going to go ahead and put the side splitters on. And I think that'll be it for today. More tires later. Done. I, I'm, yeah, I've been done. I heard that last one <laughs> pop out like a split second after mine, so. <laughs> nah, you hear so. I'm not so. done. <laughs> <laughs> Next day. Actually, finally complete. Now we had a little bit of a delay because our tires actually got delayed in shipping. So once those arrived, we had the technicians mount them, balance them, and put those beautiful RTR wheels on this Mustang. So sadly, Jordan isn't here for the final reveal, even though he's already seen these Mustangs a handful of times. Now I did say it was complete, but there's just one component that is not on the car. It's in my pocket. And it's actually the dash plaque that says RTR 78 by Von Gittin Jr. with his signature, Spec 2. So let's go ahead and put that in the car and it'll officially be complete. All right guys, so that was the final touch on the RTR Spec 2. Guys, do me a favor, if you like these videos, if you love these crazy builds we do, these adventures we go on, do me a favor, hit that like button and leave me a comment below on what you think about our RTR Spec 2 Mustang. I had a ton of fun building this car with RTR. It's probably one of my favorite projects to date here at Leaf Johnson Ford. Now, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button or check out one of our other videos on our channel. Until next time, guys, peace out.